Let's face it, scraping the paint on your boat bottom is never fun. It's even worse when you're scraping a catamaran while lying on your back on the ground. The right tools can make it just a little bit better. Hi there, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, we'll share a scraper that a fellow boater introduced us to. It made an awful job just a little bit easier. Okay, first, let's talk about our sponsor. Life is too short to be uncomfortable on your boat, so don't be. Port Riser Rain Shields from Seaworthy Goods provides ventilation while keeping the rain out. They're made from tough, UV-resistant Lexan and install easily without tools, using the attached 3M adhesive tape. Visit seaworthygoods.com to learn more. Use coupon code SMARTBOATSTUFF10 for an exclusive 10% off your next order. Seaworthy goods. Smart stuff for smart boaters. Okay, if you already know about this tool, you're going to say, well, of course, doesn't everybody have that? But if, like Dave and I, you've never heard of it, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Frankly, maybe any kind of bread. The first year that we got Barefoot Gal, we ended up scraping all of the old bottom paint off Barefoot Gal. About a third came off very easily, which had encouraged us to do the project. A third with a little more effort, and a third simply didn't want to come off. We joked that it must have been mixed with 5200. Now, the thing about a catamaran versus a monohull is that the cat has a lot of bottom area that's parallel to the ground. I laid on my back for day, well, weeks on end, scraping away while Dave followed behind, wet sanding it down to the gel coat. I tried several different scrapers and kept returning to a simple putty knife as doing the best job without gouging up the gel coat. As I was about three quarters done, another Gemini came into the yard. The owner saw what I was doing and went back to his tool bag and handed me this slightly different scraper, telling me to see if it worked any better. He was a retired shop teacher and obviously knew the answer. Well, I couldn't believe the difference. It literally cut the work in half. How many weeks would it have saved if we'd had it from the start? It's called a six-in-one painter's tool. I want to repeat that, six-in-one painter's tool. It has a sharp edge, which makes the scraping easier, but it doesn't tear up the gel coat like the hook-type paint scrapers do. You've got to be careful not to put a huge amount of pressure, but I mean, it's not a big deal to be good enough. The big advantage over a putty knife is that the scraping edge can be sharpened. I found I needed to sharpen it over four to six hours of use. To be honest, scraper's the only one of the six functions that I ever used. Okay, so that evening, after I tried it, I ordered my own six-in-one tool. About a week later, I owned a second one so that Dave and I could both use one at the same time. You can get them at most home improvement hardware stores. I ordered ours from Amazon because the nearest store was over a half hour away. There's a link in the show notes to the one that I've gotten I've bought a couple more of these through the years. <laughs> Actually, as I've given away our primary one to other people, and they were all impressed at how well it worked, so I just got another one. Since that original thing, I've used this six-in-one painter's tool for several other projects, notably cleaning off old sealant when we bedding deck hardware, getting all sorts of gunk off the engine and engine compartment. We have found it much better for just about anything. Only thing I'm, that the putty knife is better is when we need something super thin to get between parts. The six in one painter's tool is thicker than the others. That's why you can sharpen it. That's it for this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast. Hope you found out about something useful. And please tell your friends about us and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss an episode.